coach Mike Leader. Mike, how do you score 18 points the first half and 41 the second half? Well, I, I think what we have right now, uh, Ricky, we have a lot of new guys, and uh, everybody is, is running around looking for the ball. Instead of just letting the ball find them, and uh, we're all trying to make a play when we get it, and, uh, you know, we talked at halftime, you can take a bad shot at any time in a position. There's always a bad shot, it's always available, and we were taking them real quick. So, uh, the guy that got it moving and the guy that got the offense was Tyler. Tyler was the only guy that wasn't looking for his own offense. And, uh, you know, talk with Alan a little bit at halftime, Matt Shaw a little bit. Everybody, because we're all new, we're all trying to do a little bit too much right now. And uh, you mentioned we only had four offensive rebounds. Well, we shot half, made half of our shot. We guard ourselves. We, we turn it over and we take bad shots. So uh, the thing I'm the proudest of is the defensive effort, which we did not have against Fort Valley State, uh, to keep us in a game that, that really could have been. I mean, to think we were only down four at the half, that that could have been a that thing could have got away from us in a hurry. But we dug in defensively, and uh, we just have to understand how to play with each other, to play with a lot of teammates. So we're going to play a lot of guys. So I think guys think that when they're in there. I got to make something happen, and they've just got to let the ball uh, find them. Alan Arnett did a great job of that in the second half, just waiting for the ball to come in. He wound up with 15 points in the second half. First half, he was running around out there trying to make it happen, had no points at three turnovers. So uh, we got to get everybody playing like that, and then we've got to get everybody uh, playing well. Uh, we're we're, we're kind of reaching for the combination that's playing well tonight, and uh, you know tonight it was Tyler and Alan, and you know, Austin and Jamon really struggled a little bit. Milo struggled, uh, so we, we just got to keep finding that right combination. Uh, and embracing our depth and making sure that, that, that we're playing for each other out there. You mentioned Tyler gunned a couple of times. Mike, it, it really looks to me as if you have more confidence in Tyler and Tyler has more confidence in himself. Well, you know, he's a, a four-year program guy and this is it. If he's not, uh, you know, he's certainly ready to play physically now. When he's early on in his career, he just sometimes got overwhelmed in a game like Albany State. He's incredibly uh, confident with the ball now and uh, he has a, a really nice understanding of what we're trying to do offensively. Coach Mox came in and, and has really implemented a, a little bit different offensive system than we've we've ever run here. And I think Tyler is the, by far uh, an incredibly intelligent young man. He's really uh, see, he understands offensively what we're trying to do. And when he's in there, the ball moves, and that, that's all we want. When the ball moves and we shoot, you know, as a team right now, we're shooting 50% in the three games. Uh, let's just get a shot, and we just keep turning it over. So Tyler played more tonight, made a huge defensive play, and uh, I'm just very, very happy for a you know a four-year program guy that's played his best basketball at the end of his career, and that, that's the way it should be. It's not always good, but when Derek Dawkins is in there, something's going to happen. Well, and that's, you know, we, we talk with Derek uh, about that. He's a, uh, a guy that we tell him sometimes he tries to hit a three-run home run with nobody on base. <laughs> um, but he's a guy that's very, very gifted, and uh, we've got to get him to understand the importance and the value of the basketball. I think that Derek, uh, uh, he's from Brooklyn, New York. He's, he's a city guy, and uh, he's looking to impress the whatever the crowd was, the thousand people in here tonight. And all he's got to do is impress one guy in a tie over there. And, uh, <laughs> sometimes Derek has a hard time remembering that. But he's a wonderful young man. He's he's coachable. Uh, he just has to, we just got to get him seeing it the way we want to play. But when he's good, he makes us pretty good. So we go from 18 in the first half to 41 in the second half. And, uh, uh, you know, we just we, we played with just much better purpose in the second half. Mike, you talk about trying to find the right combination. I'm sure you realize when we made the run and took the lead for good, both 6'10 post players were on the bench. Yeah, and, and, and you know, uh, and, and fairness to Albany State, now they've got a couple of guys that are that are on suspension will be back second semester, and I think Chris does it. That was their first game, and uh, he's playing with some guys that uh, uh, when the second semester starts, they're going to have some, you know, they're going to have some, a couple of producers that, that that played well last year for him. So, uh, you know, they, they were small, um, didn't have any traditional post attacks. We had Matt and Mike in there defensively, and that's the nice thing about having you know, a lot of guys. Uh, you know, it's going to be somebody has to do it, and uh, it could be a different guy each night. And uh, tonight it was, you know, Mike and, and Matt Shaw defensively, and then uh, Matt went up there and made some free throws there down the stretch. Mike, of course, eight days ago we lost our first game uh, against Fort Valley State. They came into our place and shot the lights out. Tonight, Albany State only made one of 14 three point attempts. Was our defense that much better? Well, again, I, you know, he's got two guys out that are two of his best, better three-point shooters. So I think that uh, our defense was a little bit better. And 
I think that they're a better shooting team than that. Kind of like I thought our defense wasn't that bad against Fort Valley. They just had one of those nights. So, you know, usually those things all balance out in the end when the season's over. And uh, it certainly did tonight. They, they missed just about, I think they made a three early. Uh, and then they didn't make another one the rest of the game. So, uh, I think it was a combination of both. It's got to feel good to be above 500. Well, and again, it was you know the first time we've won two in a row uh, since last December, and uh, you know got everybody healthy, and I, and I still think we'll continue to get better. And uh, uh, the things that we're hoping for, and we really emphasized this week, was you know our defensive pressure, our defensive purpose. We forced 21 turnovers. Uh, we did a good job tonight defensively that kept us in the game, and uh, you know we're, we're again I just think we're extremely fortunate to win a game when we were that dysfunctional offensively in the first 20 minutes. Mike, another big weekend next weekend. A couple of home games on Saturday and Sunday. And North Alabama will come in here undefeated. And, uh, you know, they played two exhibition games uh, against Long Beach State and UAB. Played them both very competitive. Uh, we had a, uh, a buzzer beater last year with them. Uh, we beat them in a tournament at Montevallo at the buzzer last year. And uh, they're very, very good. They're very well coached. And they're very, very good offensively. So it's going to be a, a challenge for us uh, to really chase some very, very good perimeter players around. And, uh, you know, we've got a week to get ready. And then we go back to back. It's North Alabama and Tusculum in here and uh, you know, hopefully we can continue to string these together. We'll play two Peach Belt Conference games before Christmas, the 11th at Georgia College, the 18th at Clayton State. So uh, I know the, the uh, non-conference portion of the schedule is to get ready for the Peach Belt play. Are we getting there? Uh, you know, you asked me in the first half, I would have told you no. You asked me in the second <laughs> half, I think it looked a little bit better. So, uh, you know, our practices have been good. Uh, we've been a little bit more consistent in practice, and uh, we've just got to then carry that over into the game. And just, again, I think the big thing for us offensively is to just be patient and let the ball find you instead of trying to hunt the ball. And, and I think we'll be, and again, I still think we'll be a lot better in January than we are now. I, I try to remember back two years ago, we had all those new guys, and uh, we didn't hit our stride until January. And now we weren't playing as good of people. We were playing, you know, some of the lesser opponents and we were winning, but I don't know that we were necessarily getting better. We're playing better people this year, uh, but I think we'll be better uh, in January than we are in November. That, that's certainly the hope, and, and and as the league schedule kicks in, uh, you know, we just we want to hit our stride, you know, in January. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Ricky. Georgia Southwestern men's basketball coach Mike Leader.